in linear algebra whenever we are given a data point for example we took our flowers you recall so for any given flower for any given flower we were given four features or four variables we were given its sepal length petal length sepal width and petal width right we were given four and all of them were real values right all of them were real values which means there were numbers like 2.3 5.6 1.2 um, etc right so given any given any data point like this we write a data point typically i'm just introducing you some simple notation we write the ith data point we we write the ith point ith data point as xi right and we represent it like this whenever i say something like this what it means is this this is this is important notation when i say xi belong to rd what it means is that xi that xi is a d dimensional vector okay uh, so a d dimensional vector where i have um, so for example i could have xi 1 xi 2 xi 3 so on and so forth xi d right this is a d dimensional vector right and remember this is a column vector this is called a column vector because my data point is represented as one column of data so why is this a column because it has d rows and only one column and hence this is called a column vector so whenever you are given a data point belonging to rd what it means the d part here means that it's a d dimensional column vector okay the r so th this is this r is written uh, unlike a regular r this r is with written with two two vertical lines and an r this means real space or this means real numbers so whenever i say xi belongs to rd it means xi is a d dimensional vector of real values here each of this xi1 xi2 these are all components right of this vector each of these components is a real value that's what xi belong to rd mean so given any vector so for example for a given flower for example let's assume i have a flower which is represented as 2.1 3.2 1.6 4.2 right so of course sepal length sepal width petal length petal width right the four features that we have so when if you're not if you're not explicitly told what a vector is the default vector notation is called a column vector so if you're not told anything the default is a column vector there is also something called a row vector and what is a row vector if you have a data point xi right which is represented as a row as a as a single row for example if i have 2.1 3.2 4.6 1.2 let's say this is one row and four columns right there is only one row the first column second column third column fourth column so this is called a row vector right so the default convention is given any data point if i say xi belongs to rd you assume that xi is a column vector there is also a use for row vectors unless it is specifically mentioned you do not assume that a vector is a row vector the default representation is always a column vector okay this is rd right so rd basically means it's a d dimensional vector and the vector contains uh, real values that's what is the difference between a row vector and a column vector it's just simple definitions this is nothing very fancy we are just getting warmed up understanding some simple terms and simple transformations of data here